Greetings, VAC fans. For all those who have Hoovers that use the ubiquitous Y bags, where well, those things have been around forever, I've got a paper one available for particle testing, and I've got Crucial Vacuums wonderful cloth HEPA bag. You can take a look at the bag there. 99.97 doesn't really mention anything about HEPA anywhere. Not that I can find. But it's a really nice upgrade. I mean, look at the size of that bag. Of course, if you have a, a Y machine, then you know how large the bag is, but that's just tremendous. That'll hold so much dirt. So, let's see what's going on here for my base particle test. And it's been uh, a little dirty, a little dusty in my basement here recently. So I've been measuring a little high. The lowest I've done is a count of 6,000. And the highest was for the Ricard and Simplicity bag tests where I hit like 40 some odd thousand. So let's see what we're at now. Ah, okay, so we're going down a little bit to 29,000. Not moving around quite as much. I had to, after all, go and actually dig all these um, bags out of all my boxes. So that's where they're, they're at. And that stirs up some dust. Okay, so there's an initial particle count. And let's go ahead and turn this one on. And I use a little adapter here, make a nice tight fit with this because it is kind of a larger connection area. Let's see what happens. Kirby that you can put into blow mode and then you can test bags with. All right, so we seem to be averaging something probably in the low 3000s. As always, I'll put the uh, averages for all of my particle tests where I normally put them there in the description. So this is the um, paper bag. This is fairly thick, but it doesn't really feel like it's got a lot of plies in it. But you know, that's not bad. That, that's not bad at all. Something in the low 3000s. So let's put in the Crucial Vacuum Y bag and see how it goes. Back again with the Crucial Vacuum Y bag. I want to call your attention to this collar right here. Big, big difference in the seal compared to the paper one, which when it splits and separates, uh, it's not nearly as tight a fit. So here we go. Turn the old meter on. See my wonderful adapter setup? Actually, it's a very tight fit, amazingly enough.
<laughs> Zero. Where's a six? Oh, it's a six. Well, that was a zero. It was six, I think. All right, so I was looking through my, my glasses and whatnot, and I don't know if it was a zero or six. But, uh, yeah, really, really good particle count. So, holy moly, these are great. And even though they don't say uh, H11 anywhere or anything like that, I would probably um, call it that. I mean, it does say 99.97, but uh, and who knows exactly what that means. Uh, but uh, these are as good as the uh, black Kirby bags that were like averaging around a 50 or so. And this thing was averaging, if I had to guess, probably around a 20 or something. But again, I'll go ahead and um, put the averages uh, in the description. So, man, what a difference. What a difference. So, obviously, highly recommended. Um, I understand these vacuums are very inexpensive. They've been around a while. People don't want to pay very much money for a bag, but you've seen the particle, down, uh, the particle count difference. Absolutely tremendous. These guys, nearly perfect. And to be honest with you, I, I can even go and reverse blow these things out because the hole's big enough and then just keep reusing them if you want to, if you don't think that's gross. So anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, this is really great. Maybe I'll see if I can dig up some more bags, do like a paper versus plastic comparison. Until next time, happy vacuuming.